Do you ever have a creative surge of energy, like spontaneous, crazy energy, where you just want to make something and you want to do it just for the sheer joy of creating, just to play? Well, I have those, and I'll tell you that one of the things that works for me is paper mache. The first thing you're going to want to do is to build some sort of a form to paper mache over. This always comes to mind, the inside of a toilet paper roll, because who doesn't want to find lots of ways to use these? So any sort of materials that you can recycle and use are great. Tape them together, build something. So I'm going to do a mini, -er, mini version of this. Not mini, -er, just mini. So what I came up with is a cup with a hole in it. Punch a little hole on the top of this cup. Put this balloon and just pull it through. And I don't even need any tape for that. It just totally worked out. Now for, as far as the recipe for the paste, online there are lots of different recipes. Some of them you cook and some of them you don't. The ones that you cook have a harder sheen and they are dry a little clearer. But for me, it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna be painting the objects I'm making anyway. So what I do is I put one part flour to two parts water and then a blob of glue. So, I put, I sprinkle some of this in my little container. I put it in a container that seals because if I'm not going to use it right now, I want to put it in the refrigerator. This summer, I made a big thing of paper mache and I left it outside for a little over a week and went back out to it and opened it and it smelled horrendous. Mix this up. I use this little whisk here. Get it into a nice pasty. You want a little more like pancake mix, more than watery. All right, this feels great. Looks like it hardened up overnight, dried really nicely. I'm gonna start by putting one color over the entire thing. All right, now that that's dry, I am just going to start painting. <laughs> 